Another opportunity we have when we work with children and adults involves broadening views of who is a mathematical thinker. How do you think picture books can help children see themselves as mathematical thinkers? And why is racial diversity so important in math of all subjects? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, when I think of math, I don't think of uh, people necessarily. I don't think of mathematicians, um, even though my grandfather was a math teacher, my husband's a math teacher, and those are both people of color. And so how can we start to shift that thinking where kids can start to put a concrete, because math is all about the taking the concrete to the, or taking the abstract to concrete. So how can we help kids have a concrete understanding of themselves as mathematicians? Um, and I think picture books are a great way to start Again, that conversation is, wow, do you see, you know, like um, this circle and sphere, we're learning about shapes in kindergarten right now. And so when I read these books to my students and have them talking about like, oh, have you ever done that? What happens when you blow a bubble? And really grounding their experience with math, not only in their own relationships and experiences, but also what they see reflected back. So then it confirms for them like, oh, I have also, or I could also, or I do that also, um, instead of saying, well, like, oh, you know, we keep seeing the lack of ourselves in books. And then how do we understand that we can also be a part of that world, whether it be fantasy, you know, fiction, it also applies to the nonfiction as well. And so I'm really excited about the Storytelling Math series. Um, one, because there's the way that things have been thought out as in terms of the broadness of math. You know, it's not just geometry. Um, you have weight and you have length and different measurement. There's so many things to talk about, but then there's also so much to learn, so many cultures to be exposed to, so many languages. Um, and there's only, I like, I think I only have like six books out and there's already so much to dive into. Um, so yeah, it's exciting, but I think it's a necessity. And when I work with um, teachers, a lot of times math, science, uh, educators want to say like they kind of get a cop out of like, well, I don't have to worry about diversity, you know, because I only teach math and it's offensive, but it's also untrue, you know. Um, and when you think of the history of civilization and the world, you know, that did start with black or with people of color, you know. And so let's get that conversation um, into your math time and into your well, science is math too. So like, when are we talking about who is doing math, who is doing science? And let's show our kids that they can do it too. Definitely. I think I think that's something that I noticed sometimes too with kids um, in math and everything else, that if, if a child doesn't feel like they're a part of that conversation in a real way, they also kind of um, react against it, right? Well, fine, I don't want to be a part of that conversation, right? And that's that's detrimental to um, our society if, if our kids sort of think, I don't want to be a part of math. I don't want to learn to speak that language or, or um, you know, become fluent in that. And one thing that these books do really well is that they... Um, not only do they invite everyone into the conversation, but they show you you're already a part of math. This is happening in your family with your friends at home. Like it's it's already there. Um, so it makes them feel not only invited, but like they they've been there all along, which is um, something that um, maybe isn't hasn't been so prevalent in some of the previous children's books that we've seen. So it's it's a welcome change uh, for kids to be able to find that um, in their stories.